All right, so I'm not really sure how this is going to sound. Um, I'm, I'm in a different room completely. Um, I know this is a lot for you guys to take in. Probably you guys probably like what the like what what is he doing? Like what what? But uh, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be talking about uh, something that I've been wanting to talk about. I guess since I heard the news, I kind of wanted to take it in and kind of think things over, write some notes on like how I felt about the whole situation. But today we're going to be talking about the fact that there's going to be no Call of Duty in 2023. And if that's a good or bad thing, um, you know, you guys will see gameplay over top of this, but this is pretty much like my grandiose thoughts. So it's been a couple weeks since the news broke out that Microsoft bought Activision. Actually, it's been about a month, almost two months since that information came out. And then it's been about a month or so since we got the information that Call of Duty 2023 was not happening and that it's going to be pushed back a year to 2024. So I don't think we're getting a Black Ops 2 anniversary, unfortunately. But what we're here to talk about is Call of Duty 2024, technically. And that's the game that would have come out in 2023. It's going to be developed by Treyarch. And the thing that I want to talk about most is this a good or bad thing i've said it in the past but i believe that call of duty should just do away with the yearly release and that's what it looks like they're doing i'm not really sure if this is going to be permanent i kind of hope it is this rumor about call of duty not coming out with a game in 2023 and delaying it by a year was reported by uh by by bloomberg and uh charlie intel broke the report and obviously it's not hasn't been confirmed pretty much but it's it's almost confirmed so pretty much we're not getting a game in 2023 so i asked a question on twitter and just to kind of get some different opinions and reports on it and i pretty much asked do you guys think it's good or bad that there will be no new call of duty title in 2023 and i got a lot of mixed responses pretty much like a lot of people were like yes it's a good thing because now they don't have an excuse to release an unfinished game even though like it doesn't really fall under uh, the developer it kind of falls under whatever the publisher wants to put out first i got a lot of we need a break you know the developers need a break you know because putting out a game every single year is just kind of like straining on the people that play call of duty and to be perfectly honest with you, I am one of those people that feels like the extra year or the break between years is going to be a good thing. Over here's one response from my guy Reese. He says, I think good. Why? Because yearly COD games don't properly allow for all issues to be fixed and quality content as well as events to be made. By us getting two years with Infinity Wars COD to 2024, this allows for so much potential with incredible multi-layered content. And I agree with that to an extent. Um, I feel like it kind of still comes down to the publisher a little bit, but I agree with this point 100%. And then someone else said, bad, I don't see time constraints as a contributing factor to the downfall of the franchise. It's poor decisions, plain and simple. And I can agree with that to an extent as well. And once again, I've always been a, I've always been, actually, no, that's a lie. I have not always been a defender of the devs. Uh, back when, if you guys remember, if you guys are still around, Back when I first started this channel, I wasn't the biggest defender of the devs, but as I've learned more about the industry, I've come to say, okay, you know what? The developers are not the ones at fault. They're just the ones that make the content and the publisher is the one that decides when that content gets released. And I'll say this too. I think Treyarch always gets the shit end of the stick, mainly from the publisher, which is Activision. I feel like they've always gotten the shit end of the stick. They were, you know, made to make BO3 supply drops as cancerous as possible you know bo4 loot crates and then the battle pass that was like 200 tiers that didn't need to be 200 tiers and then on top of it they had to make a game in 10 months under covid and all this other stuff during a global pandemic while working at home and they did a pretty damn good job of doing that i know everyone, everyone kind of is like oh black ops cold war like you know it's not that great and all that stuff but for what they were able to do during a pandemic and things like that i thought it was pretty great so for me i think that the delay is a good thing but i can also see where it's a bad thing call of duty 2024 needs to have a ton of content it really does it really needs to come out with a bang and when i say a ton of content i don't just mean a ton of guns a ton of maps and all that stuff they need to have modes for everybody they need to come out with ranked play on day one you know that we always wait three or four months for rank play i just don't believe that's the right move especially with the cdl waiting until february you should have rank play out the gate so people are trying to get into competitive right then and there you know as much as halo has dropped the ball with halo infinite at least they had ranked play at launch and then they had a tournament two weeks later and it maxed out at nearly 200 000 viewers which is nuts imagine if call of duty did that 
and they don't even have to have a tournament two weeks after the game comes out all i gotta do is put ranked play in the game at launch and then you'll have people trying to play in competitive and then you'll have people playing in pubs and i know scoby's matchmaking is a thing it's never going away so you know i, I i'm not really going to talk about it but ranked play gives those players those real sweaty comp, comp players something to grind and then obviously they gotta have zombies complete not like they just did where they pretty much advertise the ray gun as dlc content which is so sad uh, like they have to have something for everybody and i think that the cdl is kind of dropping the ball by having a tournament three months after the game releases i i do feel like that the cdl should have a tournament three or four weeks after the game comes out so that way if the game sucks and if people don't like it you still keep that comp audience and i understand that like everyone who likes competitive call of duty will you know still tune in and stuff like that but you should try to get everybody involved i feel like it gives the devs a little bit more time to plan uh, post-launch content as well so not only will they have a ton of content planned out for launch they'll also have content planned out for the future as well and to be honest now that i think about it if this deal with microsoft goes through then it would be the first call of duty that's released under microsoft uh, and not Activision. So you never know, like Microsoft could turn it around and you just don't know. There's so many different variables and there's so many different things that could go wrong or, or that could go right. And yeah, so that's pretty much how I look at it. And that's how I feel like everyone should kind of look at it as well. There's a lot of good, but there's also that like little bit of bad where it's kind of like, eh, is it going to be like rinse and repeat again? Like it was with Activision or are we going to see actual growth with the franchise and things like that? And plus like we're going to get Warzone 2 as well. And I know that's a separate developer because Treyarch doesn't really work on that. Um, even though I kind of all the devs have a hand in all the games, but uh, who knows man but what do you guys think let me know down in the comments i really want to know what you guys think like i said before there should be a bunch of content there at launch uh that we should have ranked play regular pub zombies campaign and it should all be thorough especially the multiplayer and zombies side of things you can't forget about zombies man like i know a lot of people don't you know uh, i know a lot of people aren't playing it right now because of how just meh wars uh war, 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 i almost said war war ii but as as meh as vanguard zombies is but you can't forget about them because it is a huge part of the community and all that stuff but you like ranked play definitely needs to be there and pubs with a ton of weapons a ton of good maps and all that stuff so let me know what you guys think down in the comments um you know like i said i did a poll on twitter if you guys want to go follow me on twitter links down in the description thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye